ever discovered something and then kicked yourself for not knowing it sooner because it would have saved so much time? I know I sure have, and I had a hunch that I was missing a trick when it came to VS Code. So I asked senior developer Michael onto my live stream here on the Squimber YouTube channel to share his favorite VS Code tips and shortcuts. Here are six of my favorite things we found out on that stream for you to enjoy. Let's get into it. Do you use shortcuts? Because not everybody does, you know. No, I don't use that many, actually. The most popular shortcuts wise, I just use command the thing to comment stuff out. Command forward slash. Yeah, yeah, command forward slash to comment stuff out. I use command P to type up, you know, the file names and stuff to find them. To find a file. Yeah. yeah. Command Shift P to access command palette to like update settings. For example, if I want to go like settings and then open them in JSON or open them in the UI. Command full stop, like a light bulb sometimes shows up when, uh, when you type the code. Is and that a like quick hint thing? Or yeah, and then like yeah. you can have like code actions to help you out. Yeah, command is control on PC. Oh, and also, yeah, I actually do use uh, control arrow. So like to jump between words. Yeah. So control. Uh, well, that goes to the end of the line. But I yeah, think so basically, control. Option arrow goes to the next word. Yeah, it depends like what system you're on. If you're on PC or something, it's control arrow and then alt arrow. Um, but obviously, try out whatever you have on your system. So you can basically either jump to the beginning of a line, uh, end of a line, or you can jump in between words and stuff. If you want to close the current folder, you can do command K. F. Yeah, it does do that. Uh, I noticed that a lot of these um, shortcuts actually they're the same as in Chrome anyway. Um, yeah, like so, like for example, Control C, Control V is all the same. Yeah, and like for example, Control Tab is to create a new Control N, you know, uh, Control T. I meant not Control Tab. Then, for example, Control W is to close your current open tab. They're not VS Code specific as such. They're yeah. more like just general computer shortcuts. This is one I like a lot. Alt to do multi-line typing. So if I decide I want to add something at the end here, well, it wouldn't be at the end, but anyway. Uh, alt and then click them and then you can go in here and type and mm. yeah, whee! <laughs> yeah, that is a very handy one. How did you transfer your nav on the right side? Well, I did this recently because Mike from HTML All The Things tweeted about it the other day that he'd done it and he just never looked back. And I thought, oh, I okay. don't know. <laughs> oh, I'll give it a go, you know, and actually I'm liking it because most of what oh, you word. see or use is on the left. and. Okay, some lines are long, but generally, the majority of them are the shorter ones. And yeah, but also, you can just go Command B and close it. You can, but you can see stuff better here. And if I'm dragging stuff from my other, um, I have two screens. This is now nearer. So, yes. Yeah. Anyway, to answer your question, how did yeah. I do it? View, appearance, move sidebar, right. Yeah, it's definitely better. Wow. Good. Question. Ah, uh, Louis Grimm. The next one, a way to tab multiple lines. Yeah, so you can just select multiple lines. Yeah, and then tab, and then, I think. And just tab. Yeah, yeah. And it does it. And shift tab is to untab it. Path says, try this. Clear all the HTML and write exclamation mark and then click on tab. What does that do? Oh, right. That's. Uh, <laughs> it might uh, be like system reset or something. No, that, <laughs> that, that, no that, that's just the boilerplate stuff. Yeah, if you delete and then, yeah, shift. Exclamation mark. That's. Uh, an uh -huh. Emmet abbreviation for uh, boilerplate uh, HTML. So you can just hit enter. And there you go. Nice. Yeah, it just inserts the basic HTML layout. Yeah, pretty that good. That is extremely nice. What was I talking about? <laughs> you were talking about the settings. Ah, uh, the sync. settings sync. It used to be a separate extension. Yeah, I already said that. Settings sync. But what you can do now is. Uh, if you type setting sync, you can then say turn on. And then over here, you, you can basically choose uh, the main problem that you would want to use that is, for example, you know, you have multiple laptops, and between them, you have different uh, extensions, different themes, different fonts. Uh, you know, maybe you have set up different shortcuts and so on. So basically, whatever you want. Uh, so, what you want to do is really make sure that you don't have to start VS Code every single time you get different laptop or something. Uh, and it's all synced between your work laptop, your home laptop, whatever. 
Yeah, that's true. Um, when you get a new laptop, you have to add them all again. Yeah, it's it's a right pain. So what you can do is it's you can right just pain. sign in to GitHub. Nice. Um, and the way I did that is again, you basically setting sync, turn on, you you select what you want to sync, and then you click that sign in and turn on button, and then you sign into your GitHub. You say yep, that's the one, and there you go. It's turned on. Yeah. So now you can actually just open show settings, show sync data, or sync now. So basically what you do is next time you're using VS Code, you just log into this and it will magically sync up all of your, well, you can open the help page. So you, after you've turned it on, do, 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 you can basically, it's like, it's like Git for your, uh, for your settings. Like yeah. Git for your settings. Yeah, and it basically yeah. syncs up all of these settings, JSON files, all of your extensions, ignored extensions, deleted and so on. And it even does, uh, like, if you have conflicts, it helps you um, resolve the conflicts between, like, extensions. Create your own snippets. Yeah, so you saw that you can actually sync your snippets. Normally, what, you, what people do is they kind of take snippets from other people. So, like, uh, you go to... Uh, or if you're me, you have no idea what a snippet is and don't oh. use them. Oh, okay. Well, snippet. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, early in the thing, like, right? When you type up one... Uh, ah, that's a snippet. You type some text, and it suggests you some more text. <laughs> that is a snippet. There are plenty of snippet libraries. There are HTML snippets, JavaScript snippets, oh, React snippets. You know, uh, view snippets. Basically, you know, you uh, install any extension, and you will have those snippets with you. JavaScript VS6 snippets. You see, there is like trigger, which is basically the shortcuts, but. What's really cool is that sometimes you can create your own. So show us how to snippetize a piece of code. Then. Anyway, yeah, so let's see how to snippetize. Uh, I know that a lot of people type console logs all the time. And uh, what you normally do is you go console log a message and then you, well, let's just say variable, what am I? And this variable will be, uh, I don't know, well, I, I might not remember you. So. <laughs> There you go, console log, and then I want to console log, where am I? So basically, you have to like, if I were to type this out, I would go console.log, uh, open the brackets. And all the rest um, of it. Yeah, so read this here, and then some description about what this is, comma, and then variable name. Okay, cool. Right, so that was a lot of time. I can actually just create Control Shift P again. I think this is like snippet. Uh, no, you can preferences configure user snippets. You click on this, you type JavaScript or whatever language. Uh, actually, well, there you go. It's like whatever language you want. Coffee script, C sharp, F sharp, you know, HTML, -sharp. anything, anything. Where is it? Actually, Haskell. Well, Haskell is not there. Anything that apart from Haskell. Anything apart from lots of other languages, apparently. Uh, Elixir. No, Elixir is also not there. Anyway, <laughs> JavaScript. There is some comment about how you're going to do it, but basically it all boils down to, this is a JSON file, so you start with a string, which is the name of your snippet. So this is non-functional. It's just to make sure that it's different from everything else, and it's an object. So it's the name of your snippet, which is a console, and then it gives you here prefix, log. So prefix is what's triggering. So I can say console, you can actually give it an array. You can say prefix, and then you can give it an array of different shortcuts that you want it to be as a suggestion. Oh, so it can use more than one. Which is what I'm going to do over here. So I'm just going to leave it. So you can say CL for console log, uh, or let's just say log, you know. There you go. So we'll have three suggestions. Then you have a body, which is an array, I think. So what we basically do, uh, let's just break this down. So what you have is a body. It accepts an array, and it basically takes a string, but we can take multiple strings. And then this is basically what's going to be put out as a text. So I want, as a text, be put out console log. Now I want on console log, and then quotes, Cool, let's insert quotes. 
notice I put single quotes so it's not interfering with these double quotes. Mm -hmm. In JavaScript, it doesn't matter. So I want single quotes, comma, and then a variable. So inside of single quotes, I want a piece of text. You can just type up whatever you want. And then here, I want a variable. So if I hit tab, let's say I want the first thing, I want to type what variable I want. So I'll say the first thing I'm going to type is one variable. And then this text is what's going to show in the suggestion. Let's try this out. So why is it number one? So number one, it's like the f where your uh, cursor, this blinking thing, where it's going to land. Number one, and I'm just going to type here, dollar two. Yeah, just to show this. Let's delete this to just have number one, number two. And just very quickly, because we're good citizens, let's describe what this is. Yeah. Console log snippet. Let's go to index HTML. And now we can just type CL. And there we go. Look at this. It's already suggesting us. When you click on it, you see the cursor is ah, right. at number one. So I can type what am I? Hmm. And then when I hit tab, it's going to take it to number two inside of this text. Right now, it's like, well, what am I typing? What is this? What's the first one? What's the second one? So what I want to do is to be a little bit more descriptive. So what I'm going to do is number one, colon, uh, your variable. Uh, and now when I type CL, it now says your variable. So it now tells you like, okay, you can now substitute me with whatever. Number two is obviously your debug text. Yeah. Uh, number one, number two, there you go. And now when I type CL, it autofills it for me. Why? And I, I don't know, for am I? question is advised. I don't know. <laughs> and then it basically this debug text can go read this. There you go. And uh, that's the snippet. That's it for our six VS Code tips and tricks. I hope they make your life just a little bit easier. Let us know which is your favorite in the comments. And if you have any of your own, we'd love for you to share them as well. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more top tips videos just like this one. See you next time.